hello game hunters this is Nilus and I'm doing a tips and tricks video on Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 how to make an oob character so we're gonna make a new one and I'm making it an earthling just because oob is an earthling um, let's take second That's about right. I'm using the big mohawk right there because it looks more like Maju. For the eyes, I like these because they're more serious. You could also take uh, these eyes for Oob. They kind of fit him nicely but I like to look uh, make him look a little bit more serious so I'm taking these as for the pupils uh, Oob just has black eyes so we're going to take one of these let's see uh, his, his pupils are pretty small so I don't know oh I'll take these just for the fuck of it. Um, the nose, I like this one, type 12. The jaw, I just take one. And for the ears, um, I like these, I don't know. He has very small ears, so you could go with these, type 3. And that's basically it. Now we have to just change some skin color. I'll take the lighter one, black hair, and his eyes are black as well, there you go. And that's it, that's basically Oob. Uh, for the clothing, we'll change them in game. So, let's give him a name and a voice. Here it comes. I like this voice for him, I don't know, he doesn't have a very heavy voice, his, his voice, even in GT when he turns into Maju, he still has his childlike voice, so I'm gonna go with 3, and I'm just going to call him Oob and not Maju, because I'm going to give him uh, several outfits, I'm not going to give him a move set or do some gameplay video with him but I am going to give him several sets of outfits and I'm just going to keep it balanced for now there we go and that's our oob I haven't done much with my channel lately uh, because my computer is busted and I can't record any gameplay or do editing so next week I have a new computer and I can do some stuff then in the meantime I wasn't doing anything for the channel so I decided to do some uh, character videos creating characters for Dragon Ball Xenoverse just gonna skip everything And from next week on, I can start editing and doing other crap for you to again. I used to make some videos for Xenoverse as well, but I quit that because I, I somehow started hating Dragon Ball for a bit. I don't know what happened, but I like it again. So Xenoverse 2 was the perfect opportunity to do this with. I made a video on... Uh, Nekomajin Z for Xenoverse. I might do him for this game as well. Although, it's pretty much the same as in Xenoverse. Skip. Finally in game. All these load screens. I'm sorry I have to put these in here because I can't edit right now. Just bear with me. Oh my god, 
and there's a lot more than in Xenoverse. Once you made your character, uh, your first one, play through the game and then make a second character, you just pop into the game. You don't have to do all the intros again. But in this game, every time you make a new character, you have to go through all of this shit over and over again. There we go, we have freedom. So, I took the second size and it still looks kind of big, so I don't know, you might want to go for the smaller one, uh, the smallest, or even the thinnest, because he kind of looks buff and he looks pretty tall for Oob, but I like this the way he is, so I'm gonna keep it just like this. And now we are gonna change his outfit sets. So, first I'm gonna customize presets and then equip preset 1. So he's just blank. Makes it easier for me. And the first outfit we're gonna do is GT Oob, you know, Majub. So, a lot of outfits. And here they are. Oob. Don't go too fast. Might skip them. Oob, oob, oob. Where are you? Wait. I skipped them. There they are. And the feet as well. Oob. I'll skip them again. There we go. That's the first one. Not gonna give him any accessory, Kiki Bang or Super Soul, nor any attacks. And save that to preset one. There we go. Then equip preset two, and we have another blank. And for this one, we're gonna take uh, Oob's original outfit from the end of Dragon Ball Z. Just two pieces. Oops clothes. And the legs also oops clothes. There we go. And that's the oop from end of Z, except he's a little bit taller, more buff, and has more hair. <laughs> Presets. Save that to preset two. And later on. Uh, if I decide to keep this character, I might not keep him. Um, I just equip the preset, give him a certain set of moves, save it again on preset 1, and then I give the second one a different set of moves, for example. Um, now we equip preset 3. Change equipment. And this one, we're just gonna give him Goku's clothes. There we go. And now we have the uh, Oob with Goku's clothes on. We save that. Preset 3. Equip. Preset 4. There we go. And I want to... I wanted to do his um, outfit at the beginning of Dragon Ball GT where he wears the, the blue thing. Or the group. I don't know what color that is. Let me, let me just put that on for a second and change the color because it's yeah, it's easier to see. I have to go with this one. Sadly, it's the only one I can change the color of that looks remotely like it, except for the. Um, the tight suit underneath, so uniform. Um, do we have another part of it? Uniform, there we go. Hands. And for this I just use uh, Majub's. Because uh, they're, they're exactly the same, so. Oop, where are you? There we go. And then we just have to change the color uh, to something like this. It's a little bit more green, but it's in between these two colors, I think. 
or I'm colorblind. I don't know. I'll just go with um, with this and the white. I'll just just try to get as close as possible to the skin color. Lower body. There we go. And of course, his belt is yellow, just like his gloves. I think that's about it. That's too bright. Yeah, I'll take that one. There you go. We'll save that as well. There we go. Then you can have some fun with the other three. Um, in GT, he has this Papaya Man outfit. I can't recreate that, but it's kind of like... Um, Great Saiyaman, I guess. So we'll just give him Great Saiyaman outfit. I keep forgetting, with the gloves, there's not many gloves, so I can easily skip them. And Gohan's Great Saiyaman. And that's Oob with his Great Saiyaman outfit. I don't have the helmet, so not complete. Save that. Presets. Four, five, there we go. Equip, preset six. Then, I always imagined like, Oob being able to go to the Kai world and train with them as well. I've seen some artwork of Oob wearing uh, King Kai clothes, not King Kai, I mean uh, Supreme Kai clothes, so let's find those. And give them to Oop. There we go. Supreme Kai clothes. Stop skipping everything. Come on. Supreme Kai. Sayuki. Supreme Kai, where are you? Don't tell me I skipped them already. I have. Okay. There we go. Jesus. Uh, no hands. We'll just go from the bottom. Supreme guy, where are you? There we go. That's it. That's the Supreme Kai one. Save that in presets. There we go. And then the final one. Um, well, he came from Majin Buu, so let's give him Majin Buu's outfit. And there we have him. And that's all oops outfits that I could think of that would work for him. If you have any other ideas, let me know in the comments below. So we got GT Majub. Then we have End of Dragon Ball Z Oob. When he was still a kid. Then we have Oob with Goku's clothing. Well, it has Master Roshi's logo on it. For him, I would just find one that doesn't have a logo, but I don't think I have any. So, for now, this one. Then his original outfit from the beginning of Dragon Ball GT. Sadly, I did not have a top without the uh, tight suit. But it looks close enough. And then just for fun, we have GT uh, Papaya Man as Great Saiyan Man. The Supreme Kai clothes. And 
buy some boots clothes. Looks pretty cool. Anyway. There we go. That was Oob. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if there's any characters you want you want me to see make as well. Or if you want me to make more, just leave it in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye.